YouTube, we are in the grand finals of the ARC 5 Meta Championship Series. The best players around the world are here in one place. If you want to join the fun, click join. Use your mother's credit card, $4.99 a month. She won't even know. Then you're going to want to click on the Discord, discord.gg slash meta. Type it in or click it. Over 65,000 members. That is insane. Then within the Discord, click on user settings, click on connections, click on YouTube and Twitch or Twitch connected to the Duel Links meta. Then you are in the Discord. There's multiple different ways to join. You could join through Twitch too if you want. One of my favorite channels are... The Spicy Wind Shriek channel. Spicy Wind Shrieks are top decks that are not on the tier list. Wait, what is this? What is this? Pendulums in the Goka. Goki, what the heck? What the? Look at this. Evil Hero deck, Supreme King Revelation. The fun does not end. We also got Yu-Gi-Oh! memes. We are talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. We're doing tons of giveaways, how to win money. You're missing out on so much. Now, Join the Discord. Join the fun for the largest, most active Discord for events, discussions, and help. And with that said, Hajime. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Get ready. D va. The rule for spamming the chat is if you paste a pasta, you do it once, all right? You don't pasta more than once. You pasta the pasta once. Come forth and summon Diva Special Summoning, a Sea Serpent from the deck, then turning the entire field into level four so we could rank four exceed after Special Summoning, a Silent Angler from the hand, which you could do if you control a water. Let's go, let's go. Turn one Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller has the ability to turn off the graveyard for both players. You cannot activate anything in the graveyard. Also, with an infantry, you could detach it to destroy a face-up card in the fields. Whoa! On the very first turn, try Force Atops. Yeah, only if your opponent has summoned three monsters. Do you have the quick effect to summon a Try Force Atops onto the fields? Try Force Atops is going to lose 500 defense every turn, but... It is unaffected by all other card effects. You cannot pop it with the infantry. You can't use back row on it. Tanky going to search for an emerald bird. Bird on summon could discard a card to draw a card and also trigger the effect of a Luna Light. Activate. He might have a big response here. He did in the previous duel. He's repeating the same strategy. He's going to activate the Dweller, detaching a Diva to prevent the activation of any card he discards. See, he doesn't discard as a cost. It's a discard as an effect, so he has no idea what he's discarding. He cannot wait after the discard. He must detach the Dweller before the discard. Now, the Martin has been negated, prevented from being activated. The Martin would have searched for a Lunalite Fusion, which is the main card of the deck. Ending the turn, no Lunalite Fusion. Denied the Fusion search and did not even activate the Fusion, so he did need it. Try Force the Tops again, dropping by another 500 defense. This is devastating. Marksman, if we successfully deal damage with the Marksman, will activate to special summon a Sea Serpent Atlantean from the deck. Back in my day, you would summon Dragoons. I don't know about this thing. What the heck? Atlantean Attack Squad. 2,700 attack going in to take out the Try Force the Tops. Now, if he were to attack directly with a Dweller, that would trigger Destiny Draw after dealing 2,000 damage. They pick up their deck and search for anything, so he did not attack for good reason. I summon a monster in attack position. Dweller has limited ammo. We're going to activate the White Rabbit on Summon Special, summon a Luna Light from the grave. Then, per Luna Light you control that's not the White Rabbit, you could return that many cards in the field that's back row back to the hand. The Dweller does have the ability to detach an infantry to destroy a face-up card in the field to prevent that from happening. Not coaching. We going. These are two possibly the best decks to invest in with the new Arc 5 world release. Book of Moon's going to flip a monster in the field face down. He actually did not even exceed with an infantry at all. So he doesn't even have the infantry detach correction 
He is limited on his plays. He's returning the White Rabbit back to the hand with the effects of the Martin, which the Dweller could have prevented. Ooh, he is going to exceed. We are exceeding. Now, the restriction to play Reginald Shark is your extra deck must be water only. Water only? Well, we're then limited on what cards we could exceed into. We could use the search. We could use the filter. Water exceed. Or also we could do released only. This is pretty much the only options to summon. Now, you tell me at home in the comments what non-released cards would be good here. Whoa, there's a lot of them. What the? Buzzsaw shark. Buzz shark alongside the Hope Oven Dragon Spider Shark taking out the Emeralds. Wiping out the Martin. 3,100 to the face, but that will trigger D draw. I don't think he will go for the... He's actually going for it. He's going for the attack. 3,100. Nyx allows it. Nyx definitely has a hand trap. I could feel it. I could smell it. I know it. You know it. He allowed that attack so he could pick up his deck and search for anything. This is it. This is the big turn. Pay attention to the hand. The hand will not shuffle. Picking up the deck to search for probably a Luna Light Fusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. He did not activate it yet. He's going to White Rabbit to return the back row back to the hand before he activates it. White Rabbit. Activate, return that back row card back to the hand. Luna Light Fusion is the card he picked up from the deck because there's an extra deck monster on the field. You fool! He's going to chain Dweller to prevent the activation of any cards being sent to the grave, but he gets to use the deck to assist in the fusion because there are there's an extra deck monster on the field. Using the deck to send a Martin. The Martin and the bird will not activate. If they could activate... They would have searched for another Luna Light Fusion and also special summon a monster on the field from the grave. 3,900 attack, untargetable. We're going to use the Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark to detach a material to reduce by 1,000 just for this turn. What just happened? Connection failed? Gia, talk to the player. Tell the player... They are not allowed to turn on the microwave during the grand finals. That is not allowed. He says, I, I didn't turn on the microwave. He timed out. He had a time limit loss. He timed out. The fools in the chat think water exceed will win. Luna light up a game. Turn one set. No diva, No water exceed play? What the? I draw a card. We are drawing. Now is the time. I a we are going to summon from the hand of Fox. Not even an emerald bird. Both players bricking. This is the worst possible scenario for both players. This is trash. No extra deck summoning. The deck is full of one card exceeds. Buzzsaw shark. Diva. Hey! Diva off the top of the deck. Summon a Sea Serpent from the deck. He's going for the D draw play. More aggressive than defensive. More proactive than reactive. Top players need to know when to react, when to make plays. Sneaking on in, Silent Angler. Which means he passed on a turn one infantry silent angler play. Interesting. Do you think it was a good idea to not exceed turn one against a Lunalite deck? I would say possibly because you don't want them to use the Lunalite fusion to use the deck to assist in the fusion summon. So technically he did not brick. He just chose to not exceed. Abyss Dweller, we got five gifted subs. Let's go. Marksman, after dealing battle damage, will activate to special summon a Sea Serpent Atlantean from the deck. Come forth and summon. Infantry and defense. 
Not attacking directly. That would trigger D draw. He's going to summon Emeralds. White Rabbit. White Rabbit on Summon Special, Summon the Fox in the Grave, then could activate to return that back row card back to the hand. My activate. Activated, successfully doing so. Now we're following up with Luna Light Fusion. Abyss Dweller is going to negate all the graveyard effects that happen in the grave. They're going to be prevented from being activated. He could send at least one card from the deck to the grave because there's an extra deck monster in the fields. It's going to be a big play. Is big. He's going to send probably three. Ooh, he sent three. The entire field plus a Martin. Now the Dweller is preventing the activation of the Fox, reducing a monster to zero, preventing the activation of the Martin, which would have searched for another Luna Light Fusion. We are making a Saber Dancer at 3,600 attack and is untargetable. Butterfly turning it into 4,800 attack, going in onto the Dweller. Big damage. 2,600 damage over the Dweller. Now, how do we deal with the Saber Dancer? It is completely untargetable. Infantry allowing an additional summon from the hand. Atlantean Attack Squad is here. With mismatched levels on the field, we use the skill to turn the entire field into level four. Now, to use this skill, your deck and extra deck has to be water monsters only. We are exceeded into Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark. Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark has the ability to reduce the Saber Dancer by 1,000 attack. Reduced by 1,000, drops it down to 28. Not big enough. We needed Abyss Dweller to boost up the Hope Woven by another 500 attack. That Saber Dancer play taking, not only took out the Dweller, but by discarding the Butterfly, made the Saber Dancer an additional plus 200 attack. Otherwise, could have been dropped down to 2600, which would have went even with the Hope Woven. Not looking good. That White Rabbit's going to be able to return both back row cards back to the hand. He needs to get flipping. He needs to flip something. With no Dweller, he's going to be able to activate any graveyard effects. White Rabbit, target both back rows if they both return. Oh, no. How could this be? Butterfly jumping off the field, turning the Saber Dancer into 4,800 attack. Swinging in with the White Rabbit to further boost up the attack of the Saber Dancer to 5,000 attack. Hope Wolven, reduced by 1,000. Taking 2,200 damage. That triggers Destiny Draw. Saber Dancer, lethal damage. Nyx with Luna Lights defeating in a 2-0 victory, taking out Water Exceed. Luna Lights is the best deck of Arc 5. Let's go! Top 32 of the new Arc 5 world. It's everything you wanted and expected. Let's see what the best decks are. Top decks, full, full top deck breakdown. The full deck type breakdown of the best players around the world, global, international from Japan, Europe, Korea, China, Brazil, Canada, Europe again, there's a, Europe pretty much is every country, right? In America, Harpies was the most played deck by far. Wow, that's kind of look like Onomat numbers. Harpies are a bit of a problem. So let's look at the top two decks. Let's get right into it. Goomba, Water Exceed. Goomba, Goomba. Looking, let's have the extra deck in the view also. Oh, you know what, let's just, we'll just look at the extra deck like this. Double Drowning, Poisonous Winds for Harpies, but then the Harpy Field Spell will take out the Poisonous Winds. We have Mind Drain to stop the Thunder Dragon deck, activating Hand Traps. We want to negate that, very good. The extra deck is standard. Triple Floodgate Trap Hole though. Floodgate, great against Pendulum, but were there a lot of pendulums in today's event? I don't think so. Let's look at this. Let's go down here and open this in another window. Pendulums. Yosenju could be the pendulum version and the non-pendulum version. 
Pendulum itself is obviously Pendulums is three. What other Pendulum decks? I don't think we really had any other Pendulum decks. So Pendulums, kind of a flop on release, but Exceeds were also a flop on release. At this point, it's intentional for the new summoning mechanic to not be top tier on release. Top one, Luna Light. 41k gems. It's even cheaper if you take out the Sphere Kribo and the Triforcetops, which are definitely not needed. Congratulations, Nyx, on the first place victory. We're going to look at his side deck a little bit. Necro Valley, Double Deity Crow, a third Triforcetops. Digusto Emerald for recycling. Interesting. Shout out to my teammates in Pharaohs and MHC. He means clanmates. And to all the doubters... I started 0-2 in the tournament. That's bad. And then got 30 seconds place. 0-2 and made it in the top 32. We said this at the start of the event. If you go X and 2, two losses, the event is designed to 99 plus percent chance you will make it. So good job, Nix. Losing the first two going five and zero after that five win streak in a row win 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 then winning the entire event never give up good job nix amazing now let's get to the rest of the top 32 decks let's see what's good top 32 blue eyes you love to see it blue eyes did not get touched by the ban list they got hit by a previous ban list though losing the melody in the main deck only being able to play one Azure Eyes, Silver Dragon. That's fine. I think they were generally playing one to two, mostly one anyway. Good job. Good deck. Future Fusion. After a turn, send your Luna Lights from the deck to the grave. That's Poggers because they then activate their effects. Butterfly for a Baboost. All right. Tanky. It looks like Tanky is the way to play the deck. So if we open up Tanky, because you may be thinking, eh, do I have to play Tanky? Come on. Well, let's open up Tanky. Oh, I'm so sorry. Luna Light is playing Tanky 100% at three. These are also including King of Games and, and, and on top of tournament topping decks. So big rip. You might want to spend your dream ticket on Tanky if you want to play Luna Light. Because otherwise the rest of the deck is quite cheap. Mel Soul, Harpy Hunting Ground, nothing crazy, nothing too special. We're going to be very quick. Harpies, nothing crazy nor special. Harpies, this one kind of looks clean. It's just, they're lined up. Hmm, interesting. Wow, okay. Jordy, mm-hmm. Wow, Harpies. Eccentric being played in Gaia because now the skill requires you to return a monster. You could return anything, now it has to be a monster. Well, your mystical space typhoon is now a monster. Great. Whoa. Whoa. We got to zoom out. Whoa. Lorenzo. What is this, mate? The Oasis is the new card. This is an Arc 5 card, mate. Great. Target a monster in the grave. Special summon it in defense. There's no restriction. It doesn't have to be low level, high level, certain type, effect, non-effect. Just special summon from the grave. And then the monster is not even banished when it leaves the field. It goes back in the grave. So with three oasises, you could just resummon the same monster. Magnets love being summoned. Harpies. Gaia. Three eccentric. Three book of moon. Two hundred eighty-one dollars. Okay. Oh hi me. Yes, melodious. At the moment, is the best new deck from arc five or harpies but this is the hysteric sign version with karma cut it's a bit different we have thunder dragons thunder dragons are enjoying the new arc five card they are actually replacing their third levanier for it why are they playing this the odd eyes advanced dragon could be searched for with the melody the Melody could also grab a Levenir, so Levenir plus the Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon. Tribute summon over a level five or higher monster, then you have non-targeting destruction of a monster. You non-target destroy, 
Luna Lights just won the event, so you could destroy a Saber Dancer. And then you deal damage equal to half of their original attack. And you could attack also. You don't lose your attack. So you could very easily one turn kill with the Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon. Harpy. Blue Eyes, standard Blue Eyes, looking very similar to the other deck. Yosinju. We had such a good opportunity to play the new Yosinju Pendulums. But you didn't. Harpies, more harpies. Negative one with light point boost alpha to win the mirror match, then swap into Harpy Hunting Ground. Moving on. Again, CCO Mello and Zaga Zaga answer the whole community on why Pendulum Yosinju was not the deck to play over regular Yosinju. Is it too easy to be disrupted? Do you need too many combo pieces to make the big plays? Let us know. What does the deck need? Kid main with harpies, all right. Water exceed, playing the treacherous instead of floodgate. What? A, a teeny weeny Thunder Dragon deck. Look how cute it is. It's a 20 card Thunder Dragon deck. Has anyone ever seen a 20 card Thunder Dragon deck? Good job, Neo Yu-Gi-Oh. Yan Storm. Eccentric. Gaia. Yes. Konami really did not like that players were able to play a really well-built Gaia deck from just mowing a lawn spending 11 bucks, getting the full deck, pretty much everything you want and need besides the Dragon's Mirror. They instead wanted to make the deck more expensive, forcing you to return a monster, thus forcing you to play an expensive monster like Eccentric. So now the deck rightfully costs more money. How dare you do well for free or on a budget? Another Melodious deck. Not playing Necrofusion, Double Tretch, First Movement Solo. Very good. First movement solo with the skill is nuts. Triple score. This is insane that we do not have Kalutes. You tell me if this is an injustice, right? We all hate injustice. Inherently, when we are born, we want everything, the world and everything we interact with or within our bubble to be fair and just. Kalute boost by 1400. Score. Reduce the opposing monster to zero attack and zero defense. You know what this means? This means that we could bring back Cockatus now. The cock is back. The cock is going to get reduced. This is non-targeting reduction. I think that cock might be coming back if Melodious becomes popular because that's a super out. More harpies. Another Blue Eyes deck. Providence, the free to play Divine Wrath. More Harpy. Another Luna Light deck. Very nice. Not playing the Triforce of Tops. Triple Poisonous Winds. And that's the top two. That's the whole tournament. Love it. Follow, smash the like button, donate, subscribe, tell your grandmother about it, email everyone. Join my Twitch channel, join my Discord. We stream Sunday, Monday, and Tuesdays on Twitch. Come and get it. Thank you, fools.